Hola. Hope you all have another job less day. Welcome to another episode. This one is titled Samana, Dominican Republic. It's located on the northeast side of the country of Dominican Republic. If you check out my previous episode, you'll see Las Terenas, which is on the peninsula. So now we're on the southern part of the Samana Peninsula in this small town famous for its humpback whale sightings mostly in the winter months from say January to March so if you like whales and nature and animals Samana Providence is definitely the place to be you have a famous waterfall here called uh, El Limon waterfall so now I'm going to show you a couple attractions here in Samana a couple restaurants I believe there's a few museums here. This place is also known for the African-American uh, migration. They came here in the early 1800s, a few of them, and <clears throat> settled here. So you got some American history here as well, along with the Spanish, obviously, and French, and some British history. So welcome to my channel. The goal is to give you a more authentic local perspective have some local food drinks learn as you travel and make some great memories so welcome to samana dominican republic jobless okay so this is the main street here it's called malicon and you can see there's some new Hacienda Samana Bay Hotel and Residency overlooking this beautiful bay here. So if you have boat or yacht, you can pull up right here. This is the Samana Bay Marina. All right? That's how it looks. And then you got some hilltops straight ahead. Again, this is a tropical country, island, Española, so make sure you dress appropriately. Alright, so we're going to take a walk down this Malicón Street. Look like they're doing some uh, modifications here. That's pretty cool, you can walk up and overlook the bay there. Alright, we're going to continue on down. As you can see there, you have the Samana Bay, and some small islands or keys. And that is a bridge there that it's only for pedestrians, which is awesome. Because I love to walk, my little exercise for the day, take you along with me. So we're going to take a walk down there. And as you can see here, a nice calm bay, not choppy, the water. You got a looks like another hotel over there there is a museum here it's a whale museum again I'll leave the links below and a couple hilltops pretty cool so this is Malecon alongside the bay here the street so yeah we're just gonna take a walk there's a market Check that out. A couple attractions here. Right, well, you can see how it looks. Nice 360 view. That's the whole goal of my channel here. I'm your host, David. David. So it's more authentic, more naturalist, more down to earth. Let's take it easy. Nice slow pace. I'm a naturalist, so I usually stay at more naturalist accommodations. I've done the resorts already in the past. Not really my cup of tea anymore. I tend to learn better when I stay with the locals as I travel. So you can do Airbnb, which is popular. You can 
do some hostels. You can do wall packers. There's an abundance of ways to travel. As long as you learn something along the way. Alright. Let's go check out Samana. Okay. It's another angle. The Malikon Street. Got your bank there, ATM. And a little central area where you can grab something to eat there, local food. Nice little 360 view there. Alright. And you have a lot of motor taxis. If you want to get around. Very inexpensive way. Or you can have a rent a car. There's that Bon ice cream chain again there. Altis and Claro is your local cellular phone provider. Nice, calm, relaxing town here. I'm going to check out the museum. There's a Wills Museum here. Take y'all with me. I believe they're open from say 8 to 5, 9 to 5, something like that. If you want to learn a thing or two. Alright, let's see what else we can find here. Samana, Dominican Republic. Alright, we just came to an intersection here. Notice this pretty cool looking architecture here, building. Let's go check that out. Got a little shady area you can sit down and cool off a little bit. Definitely looks like a church, right? Catholic religion is huge here in this country. To check out my Dominican Republic episode, you'll see I went to the Christopher Columbus Museum. city is growing, obviously, like most of the country. There is a bus, few bus stations here you can take. One is the Caribe Tours. Take from uh, many parts of the country here. Alright, let's walk a little bit further down here. See what else we can find. Okay. Because I'm walking, <laughs> I explore and I get to check out some things versus if I was driving. So, Samana, that is tropical, right? Got some artwork here. If you want to take some pictures. Right off the, the Malikon, Bay Road there, by the church there, you see? Again, this is a small town. Maybe what, 80,000 people at that. So, definitely helps to just stay here for a few nights, walk around. And the winter time, like I said, you can see some humpback whales that come here to mate. So it's famous for that in this. Samana Bay. Alright, let's go check out the market, a couple of restaurants, so y'all have a look. Like, share, subscribe. 
continue to have a jobless day. All right, so I made it to another little intersection here, more like a roundabout. There's your popular motor taxis. Got your fresh sugar cane there. Where my brother? Get him on And you got this nice sculpture of the humpback whale. Definitely gonna take a couple pictures here. So they come here in the wintertime to breed, to mate, have their babies. Whales are pretty cool mammals. They're one of the largest species of mammals and of all animals actually. So here's a sculpture of a humpback whale. See that? Like how they incorporated that in the central part of Samana. You see a lot of coconut trees. This province is known for coconuts. A whole lot of coconuts. All right, see what else here. We got this colorful plaza. Baja Principal Village. All right, let's go in there and check that out. There's some shopping there as well. Got some tour guides. Across the street safely. Walk up in here. Show y'all how it looks. A whole lot of souvenirs. Okay. Hola. Got some artwork here as well. Looks like a laborer there. Pretty cool. There's a basketball court straight ahead. Hey, that's how it looks. Very colorful, right? There's a little market here. I'm gonna check that out, take y'all with me. So yeah, now you see how it looks before you visit or if you can't visit. You see how it looks. Samana. All right, so here's a little map again. Check out my Las Terenas episode. So now we're in Samana, in the south, east part of the peninsula there. And you can see that's the bay. We're watching the waterfalls in the central part. All right, so there's a few museums here. I spoke to a local, and he said the Whale Museum is closed, opens up in the wintertime. Makes sense because you have, that's when the whales come in. But there's also an African-American museum here, interestingly. There's some history of that. I'll try to do some research and post. Because as you travel, you want to learn, right? Same goes for me. I learn as I travel. Okay, let's see. He said the museum is down here on the right. There's another roundabout straight ahead. Let's see if we can find. Okay. Okay. So in this colorful plaza is the Museo de la Africano de Ciencia in Samana. And those are your hours there. Who would have known, right? So they've been here since the early 1800s. Let's have a look as we walk inside. I highly recommend you know Spanish in this country because most people do speak Spanish. So here's a history there. Thanks to technology, we can convert, translate. 
So supposedly the African Americans in the slavery time, some of them were freed, and back then the entire Hispaniola was under the Haitian Republic. I believe that's the president there back then in the early 1800s. So we invited the African Americans to come to this small town, Samana. So some of them stayed here the whole time. So here the descendants stand. Hola. Uh, entra? No. Si, si. It's mas? Si. Okay. Entra esta aquí? Entra un? Okay. Okay, we got some artifacts. Muy bien. Si te dedicado a la hermana. Leticia Johnson. Okay, so we have yeah, some she died three months ago. Okay. She was yeah, uh, yeah. if you would like to know about the, the black people around the world, the people busy, she was like a like a book. Are you the host? Yeah. Uh, habla inglés también? Yes. Okay, gracias. Por qué me habla inglés? Poquito español. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. He dedicated to we are celebrating our 200th anniversary of the the of the, the group of black uh, Americans from Philadelphia. Ah, oh, Philadelphia. And yeah. she descended of that group. Oh yeah. She died uh, about 95 years old three months ago. Manta cinco. She yeah. She was working. Sometimes she was with President uh, with President Bill Clinton. Oh, okay. Running a different uh, oh. black black community in the United States, she worked to a university. She gave a uh, history. Okay, bien, bien. And when she came fly, she yeah. go all mm. all the students came from the United States. Okay, to take his study here in his home. Uh, she was uh, very important for us. Ah. we we are sad, but you know she passed away three months ago. But yeah. she direct. Uh, the original piece mm. of the Evangelist Church. Oh yeah. They brought from England. Okay. They, they brought here in 1901. 1901. Yeah, yeah. This for the bread. Okay. And pan. Yeah, yeah. And here we have the the in 1962 mm. the pastor salary. Every oh. every member gave uh, one peso mm. and then amount and. and Take the money for the salary, of the pastor salary. The okay. paper are original. They have the the, the, the age here, mm -hmm. 1899. Okay. These are uh, little member of church, and different paper. Uh, oh, we did. Wedding, uh, born, paper. Okay. Those are how they they read. They they, they, they write very beautiful. Very nice. So we went to the next room. Oh, you have another room. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, so learn as you travel. Check out this museum. There's another room here. Yeah. ¿Por qué total español, no inglés? <laughs> ¿Por qué yeah, African American? The next time they're going to put in German, English, ah, and French. Muy bien, gracias. These are uh, something that our ancestors brought from Philadelphia. Ginger, ginger beer. beer. Muy popular in Jamaica también. Uh, yeah, yeah. These are the we call Johnny Keke. Mm. But the name is a uh, Journey K. They use it when they use it to travel to other cities. Sí, sí. They make it to eat all, all day long. Bien, it's bien. the pan England. Sí. England and bread. This year is what the freezer. No oh. electricity, they put the water inside see, see. and keep the water very fresh and cold. Mm -hmm. It belonged to Mary Green. She died. Okay. She got one holy, one holy toy here. Yeah. So this is the classic refrigerator. Yeah, 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 <laughs> this time. Reuse. My grandma was one in, in, in my house. At Recycle. The, 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 the water was like a freezer. Right, right. Yeah. Here we have the iron. Mm -hmm. They put it fire inside, it cool. I remember this one. My grandmother, she had one. Yeah. <laughs> and this for the carpenter. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. 
Well, my grandfather had one too. Okay, okay. Welcome to the early 1800s or 1900s. And he was the light, you know? No electricity, he was the light. This is the kerosene lamp. Yeah, yeah. I remember that as a child. Yeah. So I'm going to put in one small video. Okay. That talk about our ancestors when they came in 1824. Isn't and it? it's similar that we have our, our English and the American black people English. Okay. So yeah, here's some history of Samana. Where are you coming from? Me viva Florida. Florida, I was there, I worked in two companies there. From the original Canima, Jamaica. Canima and, and Royal Caribbean. Okay. Otros aceptaron la invitación de Jean Pierre Boyer, el presidente de Canadá, quien recientemente ha avanzado en el lado dominicano de la isla española. Boyer invited de seis mil ex esclavos. Llegaron a varias zonas de la isla, comenzando en el 1824. Seis mil nuevos ex esclavos con el apoyo del líder religioso Richard Allen llegaron a Samaná, procedentes de Filadelfia. Mi nombre es Martha Wilmore de Kerry. Soy nacida aquí en Samaná. Y soy descendiente de los afroamericanos que vinieron en el 1824. The group that came to Santo Domingo, they felt happy, they gave them land, but many of them feel satisfied, so many went back. It was because they got tired of me, and many, plenty of them died. But many of them remained, the, the group that came to Samana, they were the ones that all prospered. And in a short time, those African-Americans, they organized themselves. They were well organized. Okay, we just wrapped up that African-American museum here in Samana. So here's a second museum I recommend visiting. Museo de las Barenas. Royal Museum. And I'm not sure if they're open. But we'll ask. Hola. Abeto. See? Si? Eh, no. Okay. The lady, she's doing some cleaning. Ah. So no abierto. So que dia que me sale? Okay. So, ¿qué hora es bueno? Mañana. ¿Qué hora? De las ocho y media. Ocho y media. Uh -huh. Y cuatro. Ah, y cuatro. So, no sé, no hoy, no más. Finito. Es pues poquito, la diez momentos. Pero usted puede volver mañana. Porque okay, mi vámonos mañana. <laughs> okay, I got VIP to enter this museum, even though it's not popular this time of year. You got to come in like January. To March. This is when you can see the humpback whales. They come here to mate and have their babies. There's a little description here. All right? And as you can see, this is Hispaniola, the island. AT is on the left, Dominican Republic on the right, and we're located right here in this peninsula. In this bay, the whales come in. There's a little Sanchez. We're here in Samana, Las Terenas. I recommend checking out that little small town, Las Carreras, as well. Okay, as you can see, this is how it looks. In the whale museum here in Samana. Ooh, they have a huge skeleton. Of the humpback whale. It's massive. They're huge mammals. So here you have a skeleton of one. Right? Okay. That's how it looks. Nice little 360 view here. Look inside the museum. Got some turtles as well. Some sea turtles. And the Caribbean, as you can see, right in between North and South America. And you have manatees 
also in this area. That's a skeleton of the sea cow, aka manatee. There is a fee to get in. Very minimal fee. If you want to learn some history of this area. Alright, let's see what else we can find. Jablas. Okay, wrapped up that real fast wool museum. And this is another angle of the Samana Bay here. Very cute, authentic city. Small town. So now we just entered this little parking lot area where you can walk on the bridge just straight ahead there. So that's exactly what we're going to do. First time for me, so I'm going to bring you all along with me. A couple of islands there on the bridge. See if I can get some nice little views and pictures from that angle. But yeah, it's a small town of Samana, Dominican Republic. Nice little 360 view there. A whole lot of coconut trees. And that's the museum. Straight ahead there. Alright, let's go take a little walk on this bridge. Okay, made it to the bridge here in Sabana, and you have this little beach here. You can come out here and cool off as you walk. It's raining now, but that should be an issue. Nice little view there. Very nice. Okay, let's do a little walk in again. Made it to this bridge here in Samana. There's no fee, it's open to the public. Just watch your step as you walk. You can even do some jogging out here too. So yeah, I love how they incorporated this bridge, connecting these small islands. Pedestrian friendly, so no motor vehicles out here. Or bicycles, for that matter. But yeah, this is just another angle overlooking Samana Bay there. Isn't that beautiful? Very nice. Again, there's a little beats section there on the right. Swimming out there. All right, so I made it to the another section of this bridge here, as you can see, overlooking the bay here in Samana, Dominican Republic. Highly recommend stop by this little small city here for a few nights, however long you choose. Yeah, as you can see, that's how it looks. Day there. Have little boat tours you can take out small islands. Beautiful beach here as well. That's how it looks. Alright, like, share, subscribe. Let's go check out the market. Looks like they're going on a tour there. Very innovative idea having this pedestrian bridge here overlooking the bay, Samana Bay. Beautiful, see that? Now you see how it looks here in Samana. Definitely one of my favorite countries to come and visit. Haiti, you're on my list. I haven't figured out about you. Hopefully we'll have more people going to Haiti, which 
which is the next country over on the same island <laughs> to visit. Yeah, look at that, huh? Beautiful. This is some fishies. So yeah, this is where you can see the whales come in. In January to like March, they come in into this Samana Bay. You see them jumping out the water, humpback whales. All right, we're gonna wrap up this episode. Try to keep it under 30 minutes. Take you downtown to the market. So we walk from there in the beginning all the way around onto this bridge here. And the market is straight ahead in that direction. Like, share, subscribe, and have a jobless day. Till next time. All right, I had to pause the video because Dominicans love their loud music. And I don't want no copyright on my videos moving forward. So anyway, Pica Pollo. That's a popular chain here. If you want some chicken, chicken is very popular here in Dominican Republic. So this is the little central market area and the bus stop straight ahead. There's also Caribe Tours, but that's more of your transit throughout the country to Samana here. A couple hundred pesos you can get a ride. Most places. Oh, you got some fresh fish too. Get some good deals down here by the way. So if you're traveling long term or you just want to experience the local perspective, go to the market. So this is the local area where folks come and shop. That's another bus there, the Big Red. Yeah, this is more centralized. Give you a 360 view, right? Let's wrap up this video. Savanna. Nice little town. Got some fresh fish, see that? Right there. It's time to eat, so I'm gonna go uh, at a restaurant. Recommended from my host. That's another good thing as you travel, you can talk to your host, give you some recommendations. Wrap up this episode, like, share, subscribe. Okay, here's your Carib Tours. Another popular bus company here in the Dominican Republic take you throughout the different cities here and there's another small little fruit market straight ahead here if you love your fruits and vegetables I'm showing you where to go got your watermelons papaya pineapple cantaloupe Platanos, banana, cucumber, ocho, cabbage, tomatoes, yuca, you name it. And conveniently located across from the Carib Tours bus station. And this colorful building plaza there. All right, so time to eat. Gonna wrap up this episode. Hope you like my content, give me some value. We're authentic, naturalist, take it easy. Get some exercise, do some walking, talking to the locals. All right, God bless. Okay, so this restaurant here, Santa Baja Kitchen and Bar. If you wanna get something to eat, right across from the, the bay there and the bridge view. Check this spot out. Santa Baja Kitchen and Bar, all right? That's how it looks. Give you a nice little quick intro. Voila. That's how it looks. Nice shady area. Do some shopping in there. All right, got a little crew here. So yeah, I recommend that. My host told me to check it out. I just checked it out.
that's how it looks. But I'm actually going to eat in this other spot here, closer to my accommodations. Okay. So I'm deciding to go ahead and eat at this little local spot. It's called Momochitos. It's a family owned fast food restaurant. More like a food truck. So it's straight ahead there. Close to my accommodations. Got a little Airbnb this time around. Take a break from the hostels and the volunteering. Airbnb, it's more personalized. So yeah, this spot I recommend. Momochitos. See that? And I'll leave you the link so we can check it out. That's how it looks. Sit out here and Get you some burgers, drinks. They were open yesterday. Not sure why they're closed now, but now you know where it's at. All right, we're gonna wrap up this episode. Samana. Me gusta. Oh yeah. Thanks for joining me as I showcase some of my favorite locations as I travel, different cities and countries. So here's my first visit to Samana. And I'm going to wrap up this episode. Like, share, subscribe. Have a jobless day. Till next time.